Hi guys, this is Grace Pamela at Samarana.com and I wanted to show you today how to import in, Light, uh, in Lightroom and how to export in Lightroom. So first I'm going to go ahead and show you how to import. I'm in my Light, Lightroom software right now and once you're in it, you'll be able to see by clicking library, it usually should uh, pop up already on library, but make sure you actually have it clicked. And then you'll see you have your import and export tools down here. So you'll be able to select import and then it will bring you up to a new window. Here you'll see that you have your different sources that you can choose from. If you put a memory card in your computer or you've tethered it or anything like that, it will pop up here. But right now I don't have one in there so I have my computer and I have my external hard drives that I have on my computer. So right now I'm going to go ahead and select, select local disk and select admin and I'm going to go to desktop. So here I see my images are here from that are on my desktop currently and you can select new photos or all photos. So if you've already uploaded some images from let's say your memory card and they're already in Lightroom, you can select new photos and it will only select those that are uh, that you haven't already uploaded in Lightroom. So you can select all of them here or you can go ahead and unselect and just select the ones that you want to import. So I'm going to go ahead and import this one. And then you'll see it here. If you want to edit that image, you'll double click it and then go over to develop. Here you'll be able to edit your Lightroom uh, with your Lightroom presets over here or you can edit it by hand here. So now I'm going to show you how you can export it. Once you're done um, editing it, you'll want to make sure you sharpen it for the web or sharpen it for print. To do that, you'll go down to detail. So you see it right here and then you just click the arrow down and you'll see sharpening. You can go ahead and adjust all of the adjustments that you'd like and you can sharpen it. You can see here it's definitely sharpening up. Uh, set it to whatever you feel is comfortable. You can also zoom in to see just how sharp it is. So it might be a little bit too much and then um, once you're done with that, then you can go back to library here and then select export. Now you'll get a export pop-up here and I'll go through the settings with you right now. So you can skip all of this. You can skip file naming if you want to or you can go ahead and rename it. Video you can skip unless it's a video and then go down to file settings and these are the file settings that we have set. So you can select uh, a TIFF file or a PSD or whatever you like, but I'm going to go ahead and select JPEG. Um, you also want to keep your quality at 100. If you're uploading it to Facebook or any other site that compresses images, it will already compress it for you. So you definitely don't want to compress it and then have Facebook compress it even more. So you want it at the best quality you can have it, which is 100. You also want to choose your color space, which we select uh, sRGB you want to make sure that this is unchecked. Then you can go down to image sizing. Now depending if you're if you're exporting for print or for web, uh, you'll want to check this or not check it. So if you're only uh, exporting it for print, you don't want to resize your image because you want it to be the biggest that image is so you can get all the details and have the max quality. And then for the best quality, you'll want 300 pixels per inch. Um, if you do, sometimes for web, um, some people do like 72, but for the best quality, you can just leave it at 300. And then output sharpening, you don't have to do because we already sharpened it. And then you can also add your information to the image if you want or watermarking. Okay, so now if you want um, to resize it for Facebook or your blog or anything like that, you'll want it to be smaller. So then you want to check resize to fit. And then you can select long edge don't enlarge, make sure that's checked, and then you can select how long you want that long edge to be. So the go-to industry standard right now is 2048 pixels. And then again, you can either select uh, 72 resolution or you can just leave it at 300. All depends on what your preferences are. Once you're finished, you can go ahead and select export. Now I already uploaded, I already exported it to my desktop, so um, I, I'm also going to use this opportunity to show you what you can do. So the first time you export it, it's just going to export and then this pop-up won't even pop up. 
So let's say you exported a, a print image, and now you want to export the same image, but resize for the web. Let's pretend like we already exported our print, and now we're exporting for web. So instead, you, instead of skipping, um, you want to select Use Unique Name. So that way, it'll, select, um, it'll save it as a separate copy uh, from the one that you already exported. And there you have it. You can see up here, oh, it just disappeared, but if you want to rewind a little bit, you'll see that there's an exporting bar up here. And actually, let me do that real quick. So right up here, you can see it's exporting. So that means uh, you can definitely see how long it's taking. So if you're exporting a lot of files at once, it'll definitely take longer. Or if you're importing like 300 files, um, you'll see up here how long it's taking. So I hope that was helpful, and thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all about this process, you can uh, email me at any time at support at So thank you so much for watching.